What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Career Mode. This is episode number 18 and we start today's episode off with Sean Morrison coming to us and say thanks for all the playing time. I was like no problem mate but you got to do better than the last game where you shipped five goals away at Manchester City. So um, Morrison, we signed Morrison at the start of the series and he's been okay you know it seemed like a bit of a waste of money when we found out his overall was quite poor but he's he's actually been okay so um you know maybe a good signing but um he's been getting playing time but um he just <laughs> i don't know what it is about my defense it needs real strengthening it really does you guys have seen over the course of the season we've scored loads and loads of goals that's why we're sitting in seventh place but we've let in so many it's crazy but um anyway uh, we take on cardiff here for the first game of the episode as we come to the welsh capital and uh, of course the capital one cup final against city is just around the corner so we've got two midweek games here and then we've got the final on the weekend so we have to sort of change the team around a little bit you know play some fringe players in some games and uh, as you can see here it was a bit of a mix in this game we played a few fringe players like Fox and Sonogo yet we also played a lot of the first team as well like Van Volswinkel and uh and Turner and players like that so um, anyway um, in the 10th minute Yaya Sonogo comes through here and oh my god this guy he just cannot score sign him on loan from Arsenal and he just isn't doing the job but uh, from the corner, Murphy swings it in, and uh, at least Sonogo does get an assist. He may not be scoring goals, but at least he gets an assist there. Uh, Michael Turner gets the goal. Our centre-back rises highest and uh, heads the ball past uh, David Marshall to make it 1-0 uh, to Norwich here, uh, away from home. So, um, yeah, he's just not scoring goals. I know you guys want me to play him, but he's just not scoring. But uh, anyway, 1-0 to Norwich, Turner with the goal, Sonogo with the assist. But in the 37th minute, Sonogo does get played forward. Here's his chance to get his first goal in Norwich colours, and he does, yes. Finally, 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 the relief. Look at him there holding his hand to his ear just to say, seriously, shut up, stop criticising me. I can score goals. So, Sonogo does get his first goal in Norwich colours. Finally, it's been a while, but um, there you go. Sonogo gets the goal, and uh, thankfully, he's managed to shake that Danny Graham kind of tag. But um, anyway, 2-0 uh, to Norwich here. Uh, Turner and Sonogo with the goals. But uh, Cardiff weren't really threatening. Uh, Jordan Ibu came off the bench here, had a good chance. His shot was well saved by David Marshall uh, from range. And from the resulting corner, Murphy crossed the ball in, uh, Sonogo goes for the header and it's a good, good save by David Marshall so at least Sonogo is looking a lot more lively after he got the goal, but 2-0 uh, here to Norwich but in the 58th minute, uh, Nicky Maynard crosses the ball into the far post, there's Craig Noon and it's a good, good save by Jack Butler to keep the score at 2-0 and to make sure he is on course for his clean sheet here, but in the 60th minute Noon comes forward again, or no one, how you pronounce it, crosses the ball in, this time it's Nicky Maynard who's in the box and he gets his head to the ball and heads it past Jack Butler so Cardiff back in the game here uh, 2 1 here in Wales. But um, uh, a few minutes after that, we go down the left hand side with Shaw, crosses the ball in, there's Sonogo, and he was looking a lot more lively. You know, Ever since he got that goal, he was looking a lot more sharp. Very unlucky not to score there. His header just goes over the bar, so still 2 1. And in injury time, we were trying to close out the game. Uh, Luke Shaw collects the ball. We go on a counter attack here. Sonogo plays it through to Jordan Ibe on loan from Liverpool. He plays the ball out wide to Leroy Fur. Fur finds Murphy, one of the Murphy twins here. A few of you have been te telling me to play those two, so I'm trying to do so now. Uh, Murphy plays it back to Leroy Fur. Fur comes through, takes aim on his left foot, but it's a good save by the experienced goalkeeper David Marshall, so still 2-1 here and uh, the ball is in the corner, exactly where we wanted it as we were closing out the game uh, the corner comes in, gets cleared, it comes to Fox Fox takes aim, uh, the shot is blocked and it goes wide for another corner and uh, from that resulting corner, Murphy crosses the ball in again uh, towards the head of Leroy Fur, but his header hits the bar and David Marshall collects the ball. So 2-1 was the final score. The referee eventually blows for full time here. So 2-1 was the final score. And it's a very, very good win away from Wales. Like I say, we... We, we rested a lot of players. We did have a, a few first-team players as well, but you know we're in the midweek now. Um, the Capital One Cup is on the weekend. We need to sort of mix the team around to make sure the players are fit enough for the weekend, but also to make sure we don't tire them out either. So uh, a 2-1 win, very pleased with that, and um, yeah, very, very good win away from home. And I was so relieved to see Yaya Sanigo finally put the ball in the back of the net. But uh, Teddy comes to us and says he's concerned that he's uh, not getting chances. And I was like, mate, you've been first choice all through the season what on earth are you on about but um anyway yeah we take on uh, Aston Villa here on uh, on the Thursday with the uh, Capital One Cup game on the weekend as you can see here the team is just dying look at that stamina that is so bad and we had to make a lot of changes for this game we really did and um I was really feeling the worst of it because we don't have a very strong uh, side in in depth and uh 
Uh, we don't have too many defenders either, so I was really feeling nervous coming into this game away at Villa Park because we didn't really have many players to choose from in terms of full fitness, and even the ones we did didn't look very convincing at all. Uh, and of course, I didn't want to play the first team players either because you know in a couple of days' time we'll be at Wembley taking on City in a Capital One Cup final. So. It was a, a really sort of a mix in this game, uh, like in the game against uh, Cardiff, we, we mixed the team around a little bit, but we tried to make sure we had no first team players starting, uh, and not too many on the bench either, although if I remember correctly, we did start Teddy in this game, just because, you know, I, I didn't want his morale to go down after he came to us in the office and complained, that he wasn't getting chances, so um, I did start Teddy, uh, he's the only first teamer that did start, but um, in general, there was a lot of changes, and uh, the fitness just, it was so worrying, it really was, you know, a couple of days' time, be at Wembley in the Capital One Cup final. Imagine if that goes through extra time. We've got all our players in like red stamina. That would be terrible. But um, yeah, we do take on uh, Aston Villa here at Villa Park uh, for the second game of the episode. And uh, Villa not doing too well on the game. So um, I was feeling relatively confident. We are trying to make a push for that fifth, fourth place finish come the end of the season. It may be a bit out of our reach, but um, you know, I still believe we can get the fifth place at least. But um, even so, uh, in this game against Paul Lambert's man, we did have uh, a complete backup side ahead, uh, apart from Teddy and uh, Tetty won the ball back in the sixth minute, so uh, the first choice, uh, uh, first team class shone there, and uh, the ball got crossed in towards Billy Sharp, and it was a really nice team goal. Uh, Billy Sharp finishes a nice team goal, and in the seventh minute, we were 1 0 up here at Villa Park, so Sharp with the goal, a very good start for us. <clears throat> And a few minutes after that, Daniel Ayala takes his free kick here, chips that wide to Anthony Pilkington, really direct, uh, who rolls the ball forward to Tetty. Olsen continues his run. Nice teamwork again. Olsen ends up crossing the ball in uh, towards the centre. It's blocked, but uh, Villa failed to clear it. Johnny Halson puts on the pressure. Sharp is the one that eventually gets the ball here. He takes aim and finesses it past Shea Given. So Aston Villa nil, Norwich 2, just 14 minutes in. I was like, stamina? What stamina? You know, everyone's fine. And uh, 14 minutes in, Villa nil. Norwich too and the backup side were doing very well indeed here but um, it was still going to be very uh, very nervous for us because uh, Villa can hit us really with some good firepower in uh, Benteke and a Bong Lahore but uh, straight from kickoff they give the ball away Bennett wins it and then Sharp plays this incredible ball through to Gary Hooper who cuts past his man and a former Celtic striker rifles the ball past Shea Given I just I love this partnership Sharp and Hooper are such an awesome awesome backup partnership so Hooper smashes the ball past Given and it's Villa nil Norwich free but on the stroke of half time Mark Bunn comes for this Gabby of Bong Lahore uses his pace and beats him crosses the ball in here's Ben Tech with a free volley got a score but no what a save by Mark Bunn trying to stake a claim for that number one jersey uh, uh, since Butland hasn't been amazingly well since he came in so um, yeah Mark Bunn and John Reddy are fighting for that number one jersey for uh, for the Capital One Cup final at Wembley and Mark Bunn at the moment was doing very well keeping a clean sheet and uh, made a very good save there and uh, like I say Jack Butland's been a little bit inconsistent since coming in so um yeah 3-0 here and uh Aston Villa almost hit back uh, just after half time but their shot hit the post but in the 77th minute Fernando picks the ball up finds Charles and Zogbia uh, the Frenchman down the left hand side crosses the ball in here towards Christian Benteke it's poor marking the AI marking on this game is terrible it's a really piece of poor marking and uh, the Belgian striker smashes the ball past John Ruddy to make it 3-1 but we get the ball away here in the 86th minute Fernando collects it chips it into Kozak and again what a save by Mark Bunn incredible stop uh, by the goalkeeper and he's really staking a claim for his uh, first uh, for the number one jersey for the Capital One Cup and he makes another good save there to deny our former midfielder Wes Houlihan but uh, in the 89th minute as soon as I was thinking you know maybe Mark Bunch should be number one for that game he does this Charles and Zogby across the ball in and he just watches the ball I mean, what was he doing the cross comes in and he just watches it just get completely I, I don't know what Mark Bunch was doing that was embarrassing but um, he did make a couple of good saves so um, I am considering playing him ahead of uh, Jack Butlin for the, uh, the Capital One Cup final against City on the weekend, but I'm not sure, but... Um even so, a 3-2 win. Uh, we were 3-0 up, so again, kind of disappointing to let in two goals there, but um, even so, uh, we currently sit in 6th uh, as we enter March here. We currently sit in 6th. Uh, one point behind Liverpool in 5th, and I think it's 6 points behind United in 4th. Uh, and then 11 points behind City in third, and obviously that's way too far away from us. But um, even so, we're, we're still competing for that last Champions League place and, of course, the Europa League place. But um, maybe it's going to be a little bit too out of our, uh, too far out of our reach. But um, who knows? We'll keep the dream alive and uh, do our uh, try our hardest to make sure we can uh, have a very high finish in our first season. But uh, here is a squad report as well. A uh, reminder, a squad report and a league table are both released at the start of each month. So... Um, Squad's looking good. Uh, we've made some good signings. 
Townsend and and Butland and and you know players like that that are looking very good, young players for the future and sure. Um, so it's looking very good and um, yeah, the squad is looking very decent indeed. I do want to replace some players in the summer like Garrido and I don't know. Well, Garrido is one I'm thinking of, and uh, maybe players like Housen and Johnson. But um, you know, it's it's a good squad regardless. It's pretty strong in depth, and uh, you know, it's 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 been a very good start to the series, and um, I'm I'm liking the squad. It's a bit of a project here at Norwich, so um, we'll work on it in time. But uh, anyway, Ecuador come to us and say, uh, "Will you manage our nation?" I was like, "Nope." So <laughs> we're not going to be taking them. And uh, Belgium and Poland are the only two left. And uh, as things stand, it's probably going to be Belgium. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. Maybe England will come in for us and. Uh, uh, say that Roy Hodgson wasn't good enough, but who knows? But uh, we also had a press conference here, a bit of uh, mind games ahead of the Capital One Cup final uh, at Wembley, and uh, we just try and psych out Manuel Pellegrini here and just say his signings have been pretty poor and they weren't come good for him. But um, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, the Capital One Cup final uh, will be released tomorrow. It will be a one game episode, a live episode as well. So look forward to that. That'll be out tomorrow afternoon. And uh, as always, guys, a big thank you for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like, and I'll see you for the Cap to one cup final tomorrow which will be a live episode tomorrow afternoon.